everyone. Thanks for joining me for a kids yoga class today. My name's Sarah and usually I'm on the back end of Montclair baby things, but I'm so excited to take this opportunity to practice with you today. Um, we are gonna need a couple of things before we get started. The first thing we're gonna need is a ball. It can be a little bit smaller than this if your body's a little bit smaller than mine. And we're also going to need a little stuffed animal. I have my little penguin here today. So just take a second to get yourself all set up and then we'll get started. All right, when you're all set, you're gonna sit crisscross applesauce on your yoga mat or your rug, whatever you have. And we're gonna take an imaginary glue stick. We're gonna put glue on our hands. Get it all over there. Take your glue stick and put it on your other hand. Rub your hands together so they're nice and sticky and then you're going to take your sticky, sticky glue hands and rub them on your bum. Is that so silly or what? And then you're gonna rub your bum onto the rug so you're nice and stuck and you can pull all the way through your side body, reach all the way tall, stay stuck on your mat and then bring your hands down to center. Awesome, guys. We're gonna rub our hands, take a deep breath and let it out. Good job, guys. Let's do it again. Rub your hands. Take a deep breath and let it out. And this time we're gonna add the sound of Om to our practice when we let out our breath. And the Om unites the whole universe. So you can do a quiet Om if you're feeling shy, a loud Om if you're feeling brave, whatever you feel like today is perfect. So we're gonna rub your hands, take a deep breath and let it out. Om. Amazing, guys. Let's do that one more time. Rub your hands. Take a deep breath and let it out. Om. Perfect. Now we're going to warm up our bodies and we're going to start with our toes. Can you see your toes? Maybe give your toes a little tickle. If you're practicing with somebody else, give their toes a little tickle and just shake them out for a second. Shake out your feet and then find your knees. We're going to crisscross our knees like that. Awesome, guys. Shake out your whole legs. Shake, 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 shake. Shake out your belly. Shake out your arms. Shake your head. Say no. And shake your head. Say yes. Awesome, and now we're gonna stretch out our legs nice and wide, and we're gonna grow tall like a tree. Let your arms be the branches. Maybe you feel the wind in your branches sway a little bit. Awesome, try to get so tall, and now you're gonna bend over like you're a rainbow. Whoosh. Good job, guys, and come back tall. Let me see your tree, let me see your branches. Blow in the wind a little bit. Awesome, now bend over like a rainbow. Good job, guys, let's do it again. So tall, branches, tree, feel the wind, and then you're gonna fold forward like a rainbow. Awesome, guys. Now we're gonna grab our ball, and we're gonna do a couple of things with it. So first, we're just gonna practice. Let's see if we can pick up the ball with our feet like that. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing. Just gonna try to pick it up, put it down. That's it, try one more time. Pick it up, whoa, mine's rolling away. And put it down, good job, guys. And once you have that, we're gonna try to move the ball. So pick it up, swing around. Good job, let's bring it back to the other side. Whoop, awesome, one more time. Whoop, and if you have somebody you're practicing with, you can try to pass it back and forth to them. Doop, doop. Picking up and putting down, awesome. And now if you're ready to get to something new, you're gonna lay down on your backs, pick up the ball, try to pass it to your hands. That's kind of difficult, so if you're not there yet, that's okay. And if you get your ball that drops up, that's okay as well. Just try to see what you can do, play around with it. Maybe you wanna try to roll your ball down your legs, toss it back, just have a little bit of fun with it. Awesome, good job guys. And now we're gonna do some animal shapes with our body. You might know these already if you've practiced yoga before, so let's see if you can guess what they are. The first shape we're gonna come to is like this, and we're going to arch our backs up, 
and this animal says meow, meow. Do you know what animal that is? It's a cat. Awesome, guys. So arch your back, say meow, meow, and then you're gonna pull your back down, stretch your neck up, look towards the ceiling, and this animal says moo. Do you know what animal that is? Yeah, that's a cow. Good job, guys. So let's do a couple of those. We're gonna say moo. And then arch your back, look at your belly and say, meow, meow, like a kitty. Good job, back to cow, moo. Awesome, and back down to cat, meow, meow. And now we're gonna press up into what I think might be your favorite one, and that's downward dog. So go ahead and press up, you can shake out your tail. Good job. If you need to roll around, pedal your feet, can walk around with your dog. Just try to get a nice stretch there. And if you're feeling brave, you can pick up one leg and be a one-legged doggy. Try to do your other one. Good job, guys. Now we're gonna find our way to our feet. We're gonna sing a song together. I think you probably know this song, but we're gonna sing it a little differently today. So usually the song goes, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. But today we're gonna to sing, if you're a yogi and you know it, clap your hands. So let's see if we can all do this together. <coughs> if you're a yogi and you know it, clap your hands. If you're a yogi and you know it, clap your hands. If you're a yogi and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're a yogi and you know it, clap your hands. If you're a yogi and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're a yogi and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're a yogi and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're a yogi and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're a yogi and you know it, spin around. If you're a yogi and you know it's been a while, whoosh. If you're a yogi and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're a yogi and you know it's been a while, whoosh. Good job, guys. Let's do one more. If you're a yogi and you know it, clap your hands. Stop your feet and spin around. Good job. If you're a yogi and you know it, clap your hands. Stop your feet and spin around. Good job if you're a yogi and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're a yogi and you know it, clap your hands, stomp your feet, and spin around. <laughs> awesome, guys. Good job. Thanks for singing along with me. We're going to do a couple standing poses now together. The first one we're going to do is bend all the way over and let your head hang, let your hands wobble around. Try to touch your toes if you can, try to touch your knees if you can, whatever you'd like to do, but really, let's just take a deep breath and let our bodies lay and shake. Good job. And now we're gonna come all the way up and do a couple twists, like you have spaghetti arms. Do you have spaghetti arms? Can I see your spaghetti arms? Sometimes your spaghetti arms wobble like this and sometimes they twist around you. Silly spaghetti arms. Good job, and now come still. We're gonna plant down our feet, stand up tall, lift up our chin a little bit, open up our chest, bring our hands down. And now you're gonna be a strong mountain. Let's take a couple of breaths here to still ourselves. I'm gonna breathe in through our nose, not through our mouth. Whew. Breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. Awesome, guys. One more time. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Now that we're nice and still, I think it's a great time to try to balance on one foot. Let's just see if we can do it like this. Can you balance on one foot? Whoa. Sometimes you might be a little wobbly, but that's okay and try to balance on your other foot. Whoa, good job. If you need to hold on to somebody's hand or onto the wall, that's totally fine, whatever works. And now we're gonna see if we can be trees. So that means we're gonna take our foot, 
You put it up here, or you can put it down here, whatever feels good. I'm gonna put it up here today. And hold your hands at heart center. Awesome. If you're comfortable here, maybe you're wobbling. That's totally cool. But if you want to try something else, you can reach up your hand and let them be branches again, like a beautiful tree. Awesome, guys. Let's bring our hands back down. We're going to switch feet like that. Awesome. Good job. I'm going to bring my foot up here again. But if you want to keep it here or just flapping around, that's cool. Whatever is comfortable right now. Bring your hands to heart center and lift up your branches and maybe you wobble a little bit. Awesome, I'm wobbling today. Good job, guys. Now we're gonna sing one more song to kind of wind down. And this song is called Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So we're gonna be stars right now. So you're gonna stretch out your legs like a star, open up your arms, and maybe you go like this. Maybe you rock back and forth. Or maybe make up your own dance, whatever works for you guys. Alrighty. Are you ready, stars? You have your feet out, your arms open, and you're ready? Good job. Ready? about finished we're going to wind down a little bit and now I'm going to need you to grab your little friend that you got before I have my little penguin here today say hi little penguin how's everybody at home does everybody have their friends awesome when you're all set you're gonna come onto your backs and we're gonna put your little friend on your belly make sure he's comfortable and now we're going to take deep breaths and see if we can give our friends a little ride up and down. Do you see Penguin going up and down? Let's try it together. You ready? Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. One more time. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Awesome, guys. Thanks so much for practicing with me today. We're going to end our practice with the sound of um, just like we began. So remember your sticky bums, stick them onto the mat. Sit up nice and tall. Bring your hands together. Rub them. We're going to take a deep breath in and let it out with an um. So ready? Deep breath in. And let it out. Um. Awesome, guys. Thanks so much for practicing with me. I'll see you again soon. Bye.